Right, so I just want to do a short video on a stove just been bought for me by my dear wife, very kind of her. Um, this is a Frontier Stove uh, from campingsolutions.co.uk. Uh, it's not a product review in any way, shape or form. Um, just really wanted to sort of quickly talk about it. Um, if we're thinking about uh, obviously having a, a longer camp over a longer period of time, you want to start setting up a little bit of a home. Uh, it's, it is um, not, it's not cheap, um, but it's definitely something worth thinking about. Um, if you're thinking about uh, preparedness um, and you're thinking about uh, what you might need to uh, might be needing to do, uh, if the, uh, for example, if there was a, a long power cut, etc., this is a piece of kit that will keep the whole family going for, well forever. Basically, it's a fantastic piece of kit. So, just going to quickly show you how it's all set up. Really, um, it doesn't come with a bag. You have to buy it. The bag is optional. Um, I went with the bag just because it keeps everything nice and clean. I mean, this is something definitely could be put in the boot of the car. It's not exactly massive, but it definitely does a trick. So we put it out of the bag there. I'll just move the bag out of the way. So as you can see, this is it here. Now it has got its own handle. You can put it on its side, and like a briefcase, then you can hold it. So that's quite handy. It's very portable. So it doesn't need the bag into thinking it needs to have the bag. Now you'll notice underneath it's got three legs. You have to excuse the clanging. Each of these legs is a pin. You simply pull the pin out, pull the leg up, get the pin in. Then the other two legs quickly. I love this. It's very secure. The pins are going to be secure. It's not going anywhere. And also, you notice, unlike a lot of stoves, the legs are splayed out. This has just now made it very secure. It means if you knock it, it's less likely to fall over. A lot of stoves have legs that go straight down. So I did like this very much. It has a top port there. So you can then cook directly on top of that and allow extra, extra heat for it. Also helps with the uh, start of the fire. Uh, I'll put that back on there and that goes back on. Uh, door opens. Um, it has, let's swing this around so you can see it easy. It's got a couple of different settings there. You can have it fully closed, slightly open, so you can see that a bit better. And obviously fully open. Just to give you different ventilations there. So open the door now. Here comes the chimney, as you can tell I've used it already. The first piece of chimney has a vent in it. Let's see if we can get on that. Okay, that just allows again for air movement, so you just move that around. So that's the first thing to go in. Get my little wiggle, they'll come out. The rest of them will then follow suit, just slide into each other. There's no particular order. And you notice this is going to get high. And this is what the Frontier stoves are all about. Fantastic. These are designed for being in a tent, a big heavy canvas tent. Uh, so obviously you want um, the pipe to go up. You can order extra piping if you like. Uh, you can also buy, uh, it's like a diffuser, it just stops the, um, any embers coming up and uh, maybe burning your, the, the top of the canvas tent. Um, the reason I've got this, I don't have a canvas tent at the moment, but this is just uh, something that I felt was very good, as I said before, for if the times got tough, something happens to electricity or gas for a period of time, let's face it, those things can happen. Uh, but also, this is also very good, it can be used um, uh, with my uh, tarp awnings, this is now a safe way of having a heat source close to a hammock, uh, close to me, close to the ground, uh, underneath my tarp awning. But uh, as you can see, it's nice and high there. And finally, in there, I'm going to try and find it at the back. That's just your little guard, slides down up to here, and that just stops the ashes falling out directly onto the uh, bottom of the tent. So that's the, uh, the stove itself. 
um, I definitely think it's worthwhile thinking about. This also means it's not just heat, you've got a lovely surface here, it's quite large, you see there. I'll just, just give you a reference, that's my hands are quite big, so a good two hands. So you get definitely two or three pots on there. Um, it also has a rail that runs along here. I've used that before, anything that's dry, <laughs> socks, wet socks, things like that, uh, that you've been out of for the day, it may not smell particularly fantastic. But it's definitely a good way of drying certain objects uh, on there. And obviously the, the handle that you use to carry can also be used for the same purpose. Uh, so it's just very versatile. It is it is big to stick in a rucksack by any means, and that's not what that's used for. But as I said before, but we're talking about something which is uh, more substantial for a bigger uh, setup. And uh, what we'll do now is a, a little, uh, try and get it going just to see, uh, show you what it's like once it's going, okay? Okay, so we just got this, it's just about dying out now, we've had this going for a little while. I just wanted to sort of get it going, um, just, just to sort of show you how it is started. Just did a little fire, I don't want too much because obviously I want to put this away again. Um, it just, as you probably saw by the photos, you open this up, do everything from the front, push this down and you can start pushing it towards the back there. So uh, just a little demonstration now on how this uh, uh, Frontier stove works. As I said before, it's just um, it's a very good piece of kit. It works very, very well. It gives you, as I said before, a, a good heat source. There's a lot of heat radiating off of this already, just a small amount of fuel in it. Um, but it also gives you a cooking surface, a drying area, um, and it just makes you feel comfortable. Um, and in a situation, um, it will make you feel a lot better. So, and as I said before, this is a, a safe way of having those things uh, underneath you, whether it's your tarpaulin or inside a canvas tent. Uh, it's something that you can put in the back of your in the back of the car so you can just keep it with you uh, most of the times and it's just a, a very good um, thing to keep with you obviously one of the things I would recommend to keeping with it is just some maybe a box of matches or something uh, a, a cheap leather gloves you can buy at a garden centre um, just those things can obviously just make it a lot easier to deal with this uh, this unit itself anyway I'm Steve from Big Bear Bushcraft thank you very much for watching these uh, recent videos and I uh, hope you're all having fun and I hope to see you soon thanks a lot